When doing a product merger on Amazon, there's a lot of problems that can come about. So I'm going to be talking today about how to handle product merger or ASIN mergers on Amazon. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of MyAmazonGuy.com. If you need any Amazon consulting, go to MyAmazonGuy.com. So in mergers, there's a couple of conversation points I want to address today. First of all, why would you want to do a product merger? Well, there could be a variety of reasons. Perhaps your data sets have been duplicated. Um, perhaps there are multiple sellers selling the same product, but they used and uploaded a different UPC, uh, duplicating the ASIN product data. Generally speaking, um, uh, duplicate products within the Amazon catalog are not only discouraged by Amazon, but typically um, not good for your own sales. Now, there could be a myriad of exceptions to why you would want to have a duplicate product on Amazon. Uh, including the fact that you know you might be branding it differently to get some additional sales in a different category. Maybe you have an item that could sell in two categories and you're trying to game the system a little bit. Um, or maybe you're hyper-focusing each product on a different keyword. Now, technically speaking, all of those reasons are still against Amazon terms and conditions, but there are many valid reasons why you want to complete the merger. So we had two clients in the past week we did a product merger for. In one instance, we did the merger because we launched a 2.0 version of the item. And so it was a, a, an improved item. Now, whenever you launch a new item improvement over an old item, so it's an enhancement, you could technically just co-opt your current listing and upgrade it. And in this instance, we chose to make new ASINs, and then we parented 1.0 version with 2.0. Now, lo and behold, Amazon made another change to how they do parentages in this past two weeks. And they said, hey, it's not cool to parent 1.0 and 2.0 versions of the same product. And they broke the parentage up. So our initial goal of sharing reviews between 1.0 and 2.0, but to keep the items um, different so that the 1.0 stock could sell out and 2.0 could gain some keyword juice, failed. And so we had to break that parentage up to not get Amazon violation issues. And then sales on the 2.0 couldn't get off the ground. So we made the decision to go ahead and merge 1.0 and 2.0 together. Now, Amazon's new merging system is different since the last time I did a, a merging video on Amazon. And uh, so I'll, I'll be showcasing how it's different on today's call. Uh, before I do that, though, the other reason why we had another client that did a merger is because before they um, onboarded with us, they were trying to create a shipment and they just accidentally made a new SKU. And that can sometimes happen. So then they ended up having 2,000 product quantities on two unique ASINs. And generally speaking, that would mean he's going to steal from his own sales and the one new ASIN won't generate sales. So we went ahead and did a merger on that. In both instances, in the ticketing system, they rejected the merger requests upon first request. We then called into the catalog team, showed them the case, showed them the reason why this is a better customer experience, and both times Amazon completed the merger within the hour. So mergers are definitely more frustrating than they've ever been, and they do require not only going through their ticketing system, but then talking to their catalog team. All right, so now I'm going to um, kind of go over the next part, which is how do you file a merger? So first of all, you hit help in the top right, get support in the bottom middle. It is a little bit of a fine, you know, look for Waldo, find Waldo when you're filing tickets with Amazon. Hit selling on Amazon. And then from here, you're looking at products, listings, or inventory, merge, duplicate, or spit product pages. You're going to select merge product. And then here, you're gonna, this is the most important step. Do not mess this up. Re, you know, rewind the video a few times to make sure you catch this next part. You want to make sure that the ASIN that you keep is the ASIN with the most reviews and highest sales velocity. So rewind the video, rewatch that, I'll repeat it. Keep the ASIN with the best sales and most reviews. If you mess this part up, you're going to do the, the merger backwards and it will hurt your sales. The ASIN you want to merge is the ASIN you want to get rid of. So um, that's the weaker of the two ASINs. Now, even if you file this correctly, they may mess it up. So uh, after the merger is completed, review it. If they mess it up and they merge the wrong ASIN, 
it can be reversed, reticket or call back into the catalog team and flip flop it. Um, this will make sure that your sales velocity, keyword rankings, and reviews are not lost because a merger may not combine the reviews. It should, but it may not. And if it doesn't, ticket and request the reviews are recovered. Uh, you may have difficulty in getting those reviews to combine as well. It seems like all the catalog work or all the typical catalog procedures in the past five years have now been uh, gated in various levels. It's harder to make changes in Amazon's catalog today than it's ever been before. And you have to fight tooth and nail for them. Many of the hacks that we've gone and used over the past five years are now limited. It's harder to get in touch with the phone support on the catalog team as well. I predict they may even take phone support away from catalog management. So uh, it's going to be trickier and trickier as time goes on. Um, really, Amazon's becoming more sophisticated, mature, and sophisticated sellers are going to dominate. I do predict that um, a lot of uh, private labelers who aren't sophisticated and they don't have the technology or the larger teams, they're going to they're gonna cash out, they're going to go under, or they're going to be bought by other um, bigger brands who are sophisticated with their teams that can come through and figure out these systems. That's also why Amazon consultants like, like my Amazon guy is in business because we have that sophistication because we have access to more than 100 accounts. We see these things day in and day out. So if you're unsure how to manage your own catalog, it is expensive to hire a consultant to clean your catalog up. There's no getting around that. Uh, but it's absolutely worth it because if you make one mistake, you're going to cost yourself thousands of dollars. Be very careful with your catalog changes. Be very careful with mergers, parentage. Uh, any, any of those changes are very, very critical that you get correct. So go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us to see if we can be a good um, fit to do some catalog work for you. We also have a variety of services, advertising, brand management, A-plus content design, and much more. And if you have any uh, questions about the catalog, how you do something in the catalog, don't hesitate, leave a comment on the video. We will get around to making a video for, for popular topics. We, we bust out a video or two every single day. All right, thanks for watching.